no matter what sort of ChatGPT user you are, every ChatGPT user should be using these three custom GPTs. And in this video, I'm going to show you three absolutely mind-blowing GPT bots that you can set up for free easily. Hello, my name is Marty Englander from BrainyAutomations.com, where I teach no-code solutions to people looking to automate their task flow. With a strong focus on automating content creation, you can start freeing up your entire life without needing to learn how to code or hire expensive outsourcers. I'll leave a link to Brainy Automations if you want to check us out. For those of you who don't know what custom GPTs are, these are custom little bots that we can create that will do specific things for us. In other words, if you are a chef and you just wanted to have a chat with ChatGPT where you get rid of all of the fluff and all of the variations and you want it to talk certain ways, you would create a custom GPT. So an example of this is let's say Santa. We're going to click on the Santa GPT and the purpose of this GPT is in the tone of Santa, it's going to be spreading cheer and helping with festive gift ideas. So let's Let's go ahead and do what's today's advent surprise and now it's created us an image in the tone of Santa but that's pretty boring what I'm going to do I'm going to show you the three custom GPTs I'm going to compare them with the normal chat GPT and then I'm going to show you how you can set each one up if that sounds good to you let me know by tapping the like button of this video the first custom GPT is what I call instructions bot whenever we are asking chat GPT questions ChatGPT can often give us fluffed up answers or around the world sort of responses and that can be counterproductive when we just need some instructions for something. So I've created a little framework inside ChatGPT that will give me straight to the point answers. So if we head over to ChatGPT and we ask it a question like let's say sign up to Facebook, it's now generating a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. Now whilst this is a fairly decent set of instructions, it's pretty long-winded. I don't need all of this fluff here. I would actually like it a bit more summarized so I don't need to spend ages reading things over and over. So we'll jump into the instructions bar, paste in the exact same thing and do send. And just like that, it's giving me straight to the point, concise step-by-step -step instructions on how to do just that. Let's do one more example before moving on to the next one. Let's say we wanted to build a website. We can just say website building. Now, once again, this still isn't a bad response from the general chat GPT, but it's not specific enough for me to follow. Because if you just want to go do something, go take action, you want those specific details, those little minuscule details that make all the difference. So let's go ahead, copy this, go straight back into instructions bar, paste it in and send. It's generated step-by-step -step instructions for us, but do you remember before when I said that the general chat GPT wasn't giving us specifics of things, it was just giving us kind of like a broad overview. Well, here it's telling us let's say step two, choose a website building platform. And it's even provided us with the relevant URLs for each platform that we can use. Then it's saying we need domain and hosting. Well, here's a domain registration link and here's a hosting link for our website. And then as we go down and down and down, it's providing the relevant links to get straight to the answer of that Vicaria. So having a bot like instructions bot is crucial because we can customize the bot to respond in the way our brain think. And every single person thinks in a somewhat different way. They understand things in different ways. So if we can create a custom bot that talks our language, that talks and breaks things down the way we need them to be, then how helpful is that? Bot number two is the business mentor. Now you can replace the word business with life mentor or holistic mentor, any sort of mentor. For me, I'm in business and it's actually really beneficial to have a business mentor because you can't often find mentors who resonate with you. So sometimes we just need to create our own mentors. Now, because I am an affiliate marketer, there's very few affiliate marketers online that actually do a good job mentoring people in affiliate marketing. Now, what I've done with this is I've taken a whole bunch of resources for affiliate marketing and I have fed it to this bot to give me insights about 
things that I need to know when it comes to affiliate marketing. Now, whilst affiliate marketing is the way I make money, the actual skill behind affiliate marketing is copywriting and planning and research and stuff like that, which isn't too far away from just general business or business setup. And sometimes we need a little nudge. So this is what Business Mentor does for me. So at the moment, I can say something like AI is a trending topic on YouTube. What's the best way to create videos while selling Brainy Automation? Now, this bot already knows what Brainy Automation is, which is my no-code training platform for people like you who don't want to learn coding, but wants to set up systems that can automate and free up your life. This bot understands that, so I'm going to press enter. And what it's done here is it's created a step-by-step -step plan on how I can execute this idea of utilizing the trending topic AI whilst also merging it with my Brainy Automation membership offers. So it's telling me to do some research and topic selection, then it's giving me the task and the goal, it's, and it's done the same with content planning, script writing, and every step of the way, it's given the task and the goal. And then to top it off at the bottom, it's reminding me what the primary aim is, which is to educate and engage on my audience with the promotion of Brainy Automations being secondary, whilst at the same time, making sure Brainy Automations flows in, in a natural way. And the best way to do that is maybe in my intro, I announce what Brainy Automations is because that's a bit more of a natural way of doing it, introducing who I am, where I'm from and what it is and then moving on to the main topic. Moving on to the third bot, the rephraser bot. This is something that is incredibly helpful for me. I'm someone who talks in very blunt ways. I don't mean to come across as rude, but because I don't really enjoy fluffing up my language and I often talk in more bullet point ways, that can often come across as quite abrupt, rude, and potentially somewhat ill-mannered over written communication, despite me being completely innocent in nature. So having a bot that can automatically rephrase my emails, my social media posts, my responses before I send them out is incredibly helpful and honestly has created a ton of new opportunities for me. For example, when I have software companies reaching out to me, asking me if I can review their videos and then they try to negotiate their price with me, not realizing the value I bring, I would often just tell them to go away and learn how to work with influencers, but that's not the best way to communicate. And because I've created this little bot to talk in my tone, but to make it a bit kinder, a bit more professional, it has stopped me from scaring off a lot of companies, which ultimately has stopped me losing a sponsorship income. So let's jump into the rephraser bot and show you how that works. Here is a typical email that I might send out to a sponsor trying to negotiate pricing. Hi, Bob, I'm not that interested in lowering my prices. I bring a lot of value to the table by recommending external companies I've not heard of is a risk. Regards, Marty. And the punctuation, the way it flows probably isn't great either. So all I've done is just say, make this kinder and then do enter. And this is what it's written. Hi, Bob. Thank you for your suggestion about pricing. I truly appreciate your input and understand where you're coming from. However, I believe that the value I offer aligns well with my current pricing structure. While I'm open to exploring new opportunities, I'm cautious about partnering with external companies that I'm not familiar with, as I prioritize maintaining the quality and reliability of my services. Best regards, Marty. So what it's done here is, first of all, it's thanking the person. So it's acknowledging them a little bit more and a little bit kinder. It's telling the other person that I appreciate their input and understand where they're coming from and then it politely tells them why I don't like lowering my prices and it's these minor things that make a massive difference to the way you conduct yourself online. Okay, so I've shown you the three custom bots below. Let me know in the comments which of those bots is your favorite, but let me go ahead and show you how to create these custom GPT bots. Inside your ChatGPT account, head over to explore, then do create a GPT. And now you've got a new dashboard to look at. You have two options here, which is create and config. And the config is a bit more technical, but we don't actually need to use this side of things. So for example, go to create. And here you want to talk to this bot as if you're talking to another human being. And all you're doing is explaining to the bot what it is you actually want. All I've said here is I would like a bot that will rewrite my emails to make them more professional, but polite 
greater and kinder. And then I'm just saying my geo, which is UK English, because sometimes it will default to US English, but I'm from the UK, so we spell things a bit differently. Now, what's going on here is it is updating the config tab with information for us. So we don't need to create the prompts. We're just telling it in plain English what we want doing and ChatGPT or the custom GPT will create that prompt for us and start hammering down the details. So the first things it's doing is asking us, do we like this name? So I'm just going to say yeah. And now it's going to update the name of this bot. So it's just updated it to polite mail writer. You can give it its own personal name. You can customize it. It doesn't really matter. But for now, this is what this bot's called. And on the right, you see we have a preview area. So this is so we can test the bot as we start adjusting things. It's now just created an image using AI. And I'm just going to say that's fine. It's now asking us a bit more about tone and stuff like that. So first things first, I'm going to say this is going to be for business emails and social media media posts. And then I'm going to say between formal and informal straight to the point answers while staying polite and then do enter. Now, if you don't know much about prompt engineering, you probably would never have thought about how we want the answers to come across, whether we want it formal or informal, what sort of tone we want, how blunt, or do we want things fluffed up a bit? This is why this is so great, which is because it's guiding us through the entire process. Once that bot has been created, you can then go ahead and do save, then do confirm, and now it takes us straight here. If you don't see in your dashboard to the left, click on explore, and then it will show in your GPTs. You can go ahead and click the three dots. And if you want to delete it, you can do delete. Or if you want to edit it, you can edit it. And if we jump into the configure, you can see it's now populated with the name, the description, which is this bit, the prompt, and we can even add more conversation starters that we just click on here. And that's how you would start creating your own custom GPT. If you would like more training or my own personal prompts to get such accurate and straight to the point bots like what I've shown you here today, go ahead and comment below and I'll provide you with a special link to join Brainy Automation. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.